The big move for Children's Hospital only hours away. Exactly seven hours, 56 minutes and 24 seconds and counting. And some employees working through the night so patients can start being transferred to the new hospital right at 7.01 a.m. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Hannah Bueller is live outside the new hospital tonight with more on the preparations. Hannah. Ashley, as you can see behind me, the lights are on. The crew is ready to go. This has been years in the making, months of tireless planning and preparation. And now, as you mentioned, we are just less than eight hours away from a fully functioning children's hospital right here on the Buffalo Niagara Medical Campus. On Monday, it kind of hit everyone, I believe, that this was the last week on Bryant Street. The big day is just hours away. Come 7 a.m. Friday, staff, patients, and the community will say goodbye to 125 years of quality care at Women and Children's Hospital on Bryant as the hospital moves to its new home. Whether it takes 18 hours or 28 hours, uh, we're not in this for the, for the speed of it all. We're in this to ensure that, that every patient and every family member and every employee is transferred safely. The staff has been preparing for months for what they're hoping is a seamless transition. We've done 12 mock moves to prepare for this between equipment, technology and actual patient transfers. Every uh, patient is going to be planned with a specific time. Friday morning will look something like this. At 5 a.m. the command center will open. At 7 a.m. the first patient will be transferred to the new hospital. Both hospitals will be fully functional during this time. 15 ambulances will work throughout the day to transfer patients, but most importantly, if you have an emergency during this time, you're asked to go straight to the new hospital on Ellicott Street. We are not going to rush this. A number of roads will be occupied during the transfer, including Bryant, Utica, Michigan, Elmwood, and Maine.